Namo Sakya Muni Peter. Dear venerable singer, dear Buddhist ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the English news transmission on the online TV Quickly Buddhist News Rail, a comprehensive channel. Here are the headlines of major Buddhist news of the week. Ho Chi Minh City, the 36th, how to commemorate the former elder venerable Thich Chí Thổ's demise. Hanoi, Vietnam Buddhist singer, contribute for negative room pressure, says in support for COVID-19 disease prevention. Wang Ninh, Tiêu Giao Pagoda gives away 5,000 medical masks. Bến Tre, Huệ Ân Pagoda offers drinking water to the people in Sela Trout, areas of Yong Trâm district. Tiền Giang, Linh Sơn Pagoda in collaboration with Philanthropist to offer drinking water and brush water to people in the shallow areas of Gokong Tai district. And here after are the news in details. Venerable Sanger, ladies and gentlemen, on the morning of March 24, 2020, the Vietnam Buddhist Sanger and its disciples were solemnly making a ceremony to commemorate the 36th demise date of the late Venerable Thich Chí Thủ, the first chairman of the Administration Council. This year's memorial service was held internally at Wang Duc Yen's Monastery and Wang Hu Monastery in pursuant to the official letter from the Standing Committee of the Vietnam Buddhist Center for the COVID-19 Disease Prevention. Elder Venerable has the surname Nguyen, Supplicate Văn Kính, Dharma Moniker Tâm Như, Superintendent Dharma Title Thích Trí Thủ. He was born in the year of the rooster in a modest poor Confucius family in Triệu Phong district. He died in 1984 at Quang Hương Gia La Monastery, 76 years old with 56 years of Vassar. During his lifetime, the Elder Venerable had a great merit in reviving and reuniting Vietnamese Buddhism, training and educating many generations of talented monks and nuns, enthusiastically propagating the Dharma. He contributed in restoration and building many monasteries, Buddhist academies. He spent much of his lifetime in studying Buddhism, translating the classical documents. On the afternoon of March, 19, 2020, at the headwaters of the Vietnam Fatherland Front Committee, as authorized by Venerable Thich Thi Nhung, Chairman of the Buddhist Sangha, the Central Delegation of Vietnam Buddhist Sangha, led by Venerable Thich Thanh Nhu, Standing Vice Chairman of Vietnam Buddhist Sangha, as the head of the delegation, presented five negative room pressure sets worth 3.5 billion VND to the Vietnam Fatherland Front Central Committee. Accompanying the delegation, Venerable Thich Bảo Nghiêm, Vice Chairman of Administration Council, Head of the Commission for Dharma Propagation of the Vietnam Buddhist Sangha, Most Venerable Thich Đức Thiệt, Vice Chairman, Secretary General of Administration Council, Head of the International Buddhist Committee of Vietnam Buddhist Sangha, Badanda Thich Nguyen Ching, Member of the Administration Council, Deputy Chief of Office One of Vietnam Buddhist Sangha. Welcoming the delegation, the word Mr. Chen Thanh Mun, Secretary of Party Central Committee, Chairman of the Central Committee of Vietnam Fatherland Front, among other officials. Most Venerable Thich Đức Thiệt shared his viewpoints immediately after the launching ceremony of the whole population to join hands to prevent and control COVID-19 pandemic. As organized by the Presidium of the Vietnam Fatherland Front Central Committee, the Standing Committee of the Buddhist Sangha Council, and to inform the dignitaries, venerable monks, Buddhist compatriots to develop a financial contribution to buy medical equipment and supplies to promptly help the people in the region and the quarantine area. Most Venerable confirmed that Vietnam Buddhist Sangha was ready to support isolated places in major monasteries and the Sangha would continue to mobilize monks, nuns and Buddhists to express their altruistic love in prevention and fight against the pandemic. Mr. Chen Thanh Mun was happy to receive the gift 
from the Central Vietnam Buddhist Sangha, he expressed that the gift showed the compassion of Buddhism and the tradition of solidarity of the nation before the difficulties that the country is trying to overcome. He hoped that Vietnam Buddhist Sangha would continue to accompany the Central Committee of Vietnam Fatherland Front so that these noble gestures would be spread out in order to have more gifts and altruistic love for monks and nuns and Buddhists as timely reinforcement to the constitution of doctors, nurses, cadres, officers, army soldiers, police officers, and people who are implementing epidemic prevention tasks nationwide. But sure, to the Vietnam Buddhist Center in the prevention and control of acute respiratory infections COVID-19, Tiêu Giao Pagoda, Hà Long City, in conjunction with the Wang Dinh Provincial Department of Mass Mobilization, the Provincial Women's Union presented medical masks to three hospitals and gave free antibacterial cloth masks to people and Buddhists when going to pagodas. Ha Long Bay, Guangdong Province, is a famous natural heritage of the world, attracting thousands of domestic and foreign tourists to visit and relax every year. Therefore, to help the Buddhist people and locals effectively prevent COVID-19 pandemic in constraint of scarcity of masks, the temple mobilized Buddhists to find a large source of masks to distribute to the people. In the first phase, Liu Yao Pagoda has given 5,000 medical masks and antibacterial cloth masks. 3,000 masks were already distributed to Buddhist people going to the pagoda. 2,000 medical masks were granted to the tuberculosis hospital, maternity hospital, Bai Chai Hospital. It is expected that, in the coming time, the temple will continue to donate 5,000 masks to needed places in the province. In addition to donating free masks, the pagoda also calls for people to join hands to keep public health, wearing a mask to prevent the COVID-19 pandemic. Venerable Sangha, ladies and gentlemen, on March 22, 2020, Venerable Thich Minh Luc, in collaboration with Chung Tam Charity Volunteer Group, offered 900 packages of drinking water bottles to the people in satellite route areas to help them over the tap route and sideline situation. At present, areas along the downstream of three branches of Mekong River, including Tien River, Hamlung River, Ko Chien River, Bien Chia Province are most affected by saline intrusion. With the situation of drought and severe salinity, people are in short of water for daily lives, crops, fields are dried and cracked. Understanding the hard life that people are experiencing, Venerable Thich Minh Luc, Abbot of Hue An Pagoda, has liaised with Chen Tham Charity Volunteer Group and through local leaders to, to organize donation offering of fresh water to these people. This time, the group offered 900 packages of drinking water water bottles to more than 400 households in Zong Chom district. Mr. Le Hiu, head of Chen Tham Club shared, though it is just a small token of sharing with people in difficulty, compared with immense sea of people, it is a kind-hearted support to people in the areas, by raising money among the group itself, which is really noble and friendly spirit. Uh, each of us should love and help another, which is not only meaningful to those who are helped, but also meaningful to ourselves and to the entire society. We would definitely feel relieved and happier when we can do something helpful. Venerable Thich Minh Luc also praised the merit and wished good health to all the club members to be more diligent in the charity volunteer tasks to bring more happiness to the people. On March 19, 2020, Venerable Thich Trung Phuc, Chief Secretary of Executive Department of Vietnam Buddhist Sangha in Ga Kong Tai District, in collaboration with philanthropists, Buddhist followers, and ashram of Lin Sung Pagoda, Tien Yang Province, organized two stations of long-term provide fresh water and drinking water in bottle to people of Vinh Hu Kamil, Ga Kong Tai District which are facing severe efforts by satellite route situation. Presently, due to the consequence of drought and seawater instruction, the fresh water level in canals, rivers in Ga Kong Tai region has been lowered out tremendously. Understanding the serious shortage of the fresh water for the local drowlers, the philanthropist liaised with the venerable Thich Trung Phu to set up temporary water supply station 
to convey fresh water from underground water systems of the district to the people in the area from now to the rainy season. This program is sponsored by Thuong Tho Building Material Enterprise. Owner is a Buddhist follower of Linsheng Pagoda. Every day from 6 a.m. to 18 p.m., local dollars can come get water at Thuong Tho Building Material Shop. Two water tanks, each is 2,000 liters. And the office of Thuong Tho Building Materials Enterprise, located at Thanh Thoi Hamlet, Vinh Hu Commune. Two water tanks, each is 2,000 liters. Taking this opportunity, Venerable Thich Trung King and Venerable Thich Le Tu also mobilized philanthropists in Ho Chi Minh City. In collaboration with guidance from Venerable Thich Trung Phu, sponsor 15 million Vietnam Dong to buy fresh water and drinking water to offer to the people in the area of the commune, where is in serious sailing drown. Ms. Dung Nguyen Chi Thing, chairman of Vinh Hu Commune, has handed letter of gratitude and express deep gratitude to Sanger and philanthropists for their generous financial sponsor, which creates trust in local people to overcome current difficulties. He also wished the Sanger and philanthropists good health and more achievement in their Buddhist affairs activities. Venerable Sanger, ladies and gentlemen, the last news has signed up this quickly new thread. Thank you for your attention and following. Goodbye and see you in the next program on Piazzo TV channel. Namo Sakya Muni Peter.